Hi, this is Paul Gabry with another episode of Ask ZBrush. All right, so the question that came to us is, I have a high poly mesh and I worked on the clone to create the UVs. How do I get the high divided version back? So this is really more about copying and pasting your UVs. And for those that don't know, the cloning and UV, let me just briefly touch on that and show how we could copy the UVs from the clone mesh and put it back on the mesh that has all the sculptural information on it. So in this case, I have this guy that ships with ZBrush. So what I'm gonna do and what this person did is they came to the plugins. So this can be found along the top. So you'll see if I click on here, you'll see that menu is available to me here. I'm going to click on this little icon circle and drag over so it gets docked over here in the tray. And what I'm going to be looking for is UV Master. Right? And in here, there's a button called Work on Clone. So I'm going to press this button and you'll see another version of your model. However, what's been done is a clone has been made, which you can see right here in the tool palette. So there's my original and then here's the clone. What also is done with this plugin is it is dropped to the lowest subdivision level and all other subdivisions are deleted. So right now we're looking at a model that is the exact same thing as this earthquake model below, but it's at the lowest level and with no subdivisions. This is going to be easier to work with for UVing. So all I'm going to do now is in this plugin, I'm going to throw on option of polygroups. So this model has multiple polygroups in it and the benefit of that is this option is going to make each polygroup its own UV island. So I'm going to use that on him since he's already polygrouped off and now all I'm going to do is tell ZBrush to unwrap this. So we click that button, boom, it is done. So for an example now if I want to see what those UVs look like I can click the flatten button right here again. So here's your flatten button. And now you can see what the UV space looks like. So I'm going to unflatten to get back to our 3D model. And then this is where our question comes into play. How do I now get the UVs from here back onto the actual version that's got sculpted information? Well, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is copy the UVs right within here in the plugin. Okay, and then now I'm going to come down and click on the sculpted version of this. I'll walk down to the lowest level so that we have the same exact thing. And back to the plugin we go. And I'm now gonna click paste UVs. That's it, it's that simple. And now the UVs are on this model. So if we come down here to UV map and click morph UV, you'll see the UVs are now on the sculpted version of this model. And you can see as I walk back up in subdivisions, Everything's fine and everything's there. So this is how you take the cloned UV version and then copy and paste it to the sculpted version. So thank you for watching this video and please continue to send your questions in through Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Again, just ask us a question through Twitter. We make sure you put hashtag AskZBrush, okay, so that we can find your question. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a great day and happy ZBrushing.